Hi everyone, welcome to Gas Garage. This week I thought we'd talk a little bit about the championship itself. Um, I feel really fortunate I've been involved with the championship for near on 20 years and I think from when I joined the championship in 98 to where we are now in 2017, we've seen the championship go from a semi-professional type setup to obviously now incredibly professional, well polished, um, great series that's incredibly competitive and widely regarded as one of the most competitive touring car championships in the world. When I started in 98, there was no real street circuits. Um, the championship finished in around September, then Sandown and Bathurst and the Gold Coast weren't part of the championship. So very, very different layout of the year, the way it all worked. Uh, since that time, we've seen Adelaide come on strong with the Clipsal 500. We've seen a lot of street circuits join the series. Obviously Bathurst and the endurance races are now part of the championship. I think all this stuff has really helped grow the championship. We've obviously done some of the overseas stuff, which have been quite interesting, but ultimately our core fan base and our core supporter group is certainly Australia and New Zealand. I can certainly see our series expanding into Asia in the near future. I think that's going to work pretty well for us because the time zone works well from a TV point of view and also travelling. So for an Australian or New Zealand fan base that wants to head up and see a race overseas, it's not that far to go and there's pretty respectable airfares and accommodation packages to get up there. A lot of people ask, what's my favourite event? Well, I think the best event of the year is certainly the Clipsal 500, but the best racetrack of the year is certainly Bathurst. Any driver that says that Bathurst isn't their favourite track is just kidding themselves because it is ultimately the best challenge. And any of the international guys that come down here and some of the, my German teammates that come down and do the Bathurst 12 hour certainly say that this is one of the top three tracks in the world. So we're really fortunate to have that here in Australia and certainly our iconic race, the Bathurst 1000, is certainly watched all around the world. Um, a lot of our international uh, colleagues that are involved with motorsport in America, the UK or Europe, they all sit down and watch that one. They love that race and we're really lucky to have it. I think our series has been really fortunate and our championship here in Australia, whether it's in the supercar era or prior to that, the Touring Car Championship era, it's been really, really lucky to have some real really gun drivers come through it. And I mean, obviously you can talk about the current guys that are in there now and there's some real good ones, Wink Cup, Van Gisberg and Scotty McLaughlin's going pretty well. Um, you know, Craig Lowndes, Craig and I have been racing against each other our whole careers and I reckon he's probably the guy I respect the most when we're racing on the racetrack. Uh, the guy that I looked up to the most as a kid growing up was Jim Richards. Uh, just the way that he was able to jump in any race car it seemed, whether it was on Target Tasmania, Touring Car, Supercar, Oscar, NASCAR, he'd just jump in it and be fast and he still can do it. It's amazing and uh, actually really fortunate to have uh, have Jim as my teammate in Bathurst as 98. He was in the other car with Jason Barguana and I was really, really nervous on Saturday night and Richo sat down and said, Garth, you need to have a beer. So we had a beer together on Saturday night before my first ever Bathurst and I clearly remember that was one of the most awesome things that's ever happened in my career. So I hope you really enjoyed some of the highlights from my period involved with the championship over the last 20 years. I think it's really exciting and it's great to have had been involved with Valvoline over a large part of that together and it's great to have that relationship continuing today.